All right, Seth, let's go. The hike to Redbird Arch in the Red River Gorge is lesser known and off the beaten path. The trail is certainly not maintained. You'll have to park just outside the gorge and hike back in. I would not recommend this hike without a compass and map or a GPS. There are two ways to Redbird Arch. The other trail is longer and requires crossing the Red River, which is why I ruled it out on this trip. But who knows, maybe next time. The trail is about four miles out and back, and our campsite just below the arch adds about a half a mile one way. But it's a fabulous spot just above the Red River. The scenery was fantastic, and the wintry conditions were breathtaking. It's astonishing how much greenery remains in the gorge throughout the winter. Although I didn't find the hike nearly as bad as some of the reviews, to be fair, I would rate it as difficult, and certainly difficult under snow and icy conditions. You can expect a rough and overgrown scramble most of the way to the arch. Despite having hiked the Red River Gorge numerous times, this was my first time visiting Redbird Arch. Not wanting to attempt the journey alone, I persuaded my son to travel with me for a for a bit of extra security, and he was more than willing to accept the challenge. Although the main objective of this expedition was to capture an, an award-winning image of Redbird Arch, above all, I enjoyed the time I spent with my son during this grand adventure. Perhaps we'll return in the spring, or maybe the summer, but I might not be finished with Redbird Arch. Enjoy the hike, and I hope you enjoy the images at the end. Redbird Arch in the Red River Gorge, and it's magnificent. It's uh, temperature-wise maybe uh, 38 or so. It's not too bad. Snow's starting to melt a little bit, but uh, I've uh, really come down to capture the arch uh, in all its splendor, if I can. But anyway, we'll see. So uh, I think I'm gonna obviously go wide here. Probably every bit of 14 millimeters, my guess. But anyway, we'll see. So I'm gonna capture an image and see if I can do justice to this beautiful arch. You know, when you're here and you see these magnificent arches, uh, I mean, you know, if you can do some justice to this beautiful scene uh, with an image, I, I think you've done well. So anyway, that's my intentions. But we'll see. We're, I'm going to, oh, yeah, I'm going to be uh, spending the night down here and I don't know, I'll probably come back up tomorrow morning and uh, capture another image. But there's a few other images out here. Um, it's just a, you know, winter wonderland down here. It's wonderful. So. I'm going to uh, see what other kind of images I can capture as well. Anyway, more to follow. Meat, pasta, marinara. Can't go wrong with that. So I'm at the Red River, just below our campsite, and the campsite is just below Redbird Arch. But I can tell you, it was mighty cold last night. But anyway, thought I'd get up this morning, uh, come down to photograph the river, and I realized I, I'd never really photographed the Red River, so I really wanted to capture a couple images down here. And kind of fortuitous by the campsite, this area, it's a frozen frozen scene, and I'm hoping there's, there's a kind of an S-curve 
that, that comes out in the ice. I'm hoping that comes out in the image. But uh, nevertheless, it's really contrasty, snowy scene, rocks in the foreground. I'm hoping to, hoping to pull a good image out of this this morning. So, And uh, captured a few images. We'll see how they come out. But uh, man, it's a winter, wintry wonderland down here. I can tell you that. However, I don't know if I could get down here if there was much more snow. Um, I think uh, probably two, three inches of snow down here. And it's supposed to warm up today. I hope so, because I tell you what, I'm, that hike out. Yeah, cold, cold. Well, I'm gonna head back out to camp, make some coffee, relax a little bit, uh, pack up my gear, and I'm gonna head out. But I uh, hope you liked the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I post. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail.